everyone today I'm going to be doing a simple neutral eye and I skipped my foundation and my like my primer and stuff because I can just do a separate video on that but here I'm just applying my under eye concealer which I use the MAC Pro Long Wear in NW20 and I just put it on the high points of my face and I blend it out with a dampened sponge this one's from Real Techniques Here I'm taking my MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Rose and I'm just going to place this right where I place the concealer just to add more of a glow and kind of radiant look. So I just put it on my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead and on my cupid's bow and I just blend it out with the same sponge I use for my uh, concealer. And to set all of that, I'm just going to take a translucent powder and use the baking method, which you just basically put the translucent powder without blending it onto the spots you put the concealer or foundation, and you just let it sit there for a minute, and then you dust away the leftover product that didn't bake into your skin. Um, it just makes it set better into your skin. Now I'm taking this NARS Duo, uh, it's just a contour and highlight kit, and I'm just going to take the contour shade, which is more of like an ashy tone, and I'm just going to contour my cheekbones. I like to use this color because it's not too um, terracotta shade, which a lot of bronzers are. I just uh, like this one because it just gives me the most natural contour. So I'm just going to take a buffing brush and buff that on my cheekbones and do the same for the other side I also blend this contour shade down my neckline and on my temples of my forehead which it doesn't show here but I did apply it on my temples and then I take the same color and I take a fluffy brush and contour my nose this is just a routine for me and then I, after that, I take the lighter shade in the palette and I kind of um, put it down the bridge of my nose for extra highlight. Now I'm just going to take my MAC bronzer in bronze and I'm just going to bronze up my face a little bit. This has shimmers in it so it's different than the contour shade. This will just add more color to your skin. I'm just going to apply this um, where I applied my contour and down my neck. Here I'm just going to take a Becca blush in rose gold and this is super pretty if you want to kind of keep it natural. It has a nice sheen to it so um, you're getting kind of the best of both worlds. But I do want to add a little bit more highlighter, so I'm going to take Becca's Champagne Pop, and I'm going to highlight my cheeks and um, a little bit on my forehead and down my nose. Starting with the eyes, I'm going to take the Too Faced Matte Eye Palette. I'm going to take the top color right there, I can't pronounce it, but it's just a matte brown. And I'm just going to apply that as my transition color with a big fluffy brush. Next color in the same palette I'm going to use is Coffee Bean. And this is the uh, darkest brown in the palette. And I'm just going to take a dense, more dense fluffy brush and I'm going to apply that closely in the crease. This will just add more definition and darkness in the crease. Here I'm just blending out the colors and making sure there's no sharp lines. 
And then I'm going to take the Too Faced Natural Eye, and this is a different palette, but they're each about $35, and I think they're really great palettes if you're looking for kind of like more of a neutral palette. But here I'm just taking a um, the color Honey Pot, which is a true gold color, and I'm just going to apply that my outer and middle lid with a kind of like a shader brush. This is more of like a dense shader brush, and I'm just going to pack that onto my lid because I kind of want it more pigmented so I'm just going to pack that on and then next color I'm going to use is Silk Teddy and you can tell that I love this color it's so pretty it's kind of a champagne pink color and I'm going to apply that on my inner corner and um, just to brighten up the eye For brow bone highlight, I'm taking the top cream shade, and I'm going to just apply that right under my brow bone just to add a highlight. Lastly, for eyeshadow, I'm going to take the darkest brown, and I'm going to put it along my lower lash line just to add darkness at the bottom of my eyes, and I'm just going to blend it out with a lighter shade. Here I'm just creating a signature wing with black liquid liner and this is the NYX matte liquid liner and if you want me to do a separate video on how I do my winged eyeliner just comment below and I'll do that for you. When I'm finished with my eyeliner I'm just going to apply a coat of mascara to get ready for some false lashes. I'm just using my favorite telescopic from L'Oreal. This is really awesome for kind of like a base mascara before you apply fake eyelashes and this is also awesome for your uh, lower lashes because they get them um, really coated. For lashes I'm using the um, Flirty Lashes. I forget which brand it is but I will put it in the down bar. I'm just going to apply those. It's hard to keep it in the camera because I'm so focused on trying to get the lashes right. For our lips, I'm going to take MAC Subculture Lip Pencil, and I'm just going to line my lips. This is a perfect lip pencil for overlining your lips if you choose to do so. It's just kind of the same color as your lip color, and it just gives a good base for any lip color you want. It could be like a red or a hot pink. You could literally do any color with this lip pencil. So I'm just going to line my lips with that. Here I'm taking my current favorite lip gloss. This is Intress Leches. I don't really know how to say it, but it's just the uh, NYX Intense Butter Gloss. These are really, really awesome. And I'm just going to apply that on my lips. This is a perfect kind of nude color, and it stays on all day. This is the finished look. I hope y'all enjoyed. It's definitely on the more natural side, but I hope y'all don't mind. And thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.